Hi, viewer, you. I have a question for you. Do you know what this is? I'm sure a lot of you do, but I would be willing to bet that there's also a pretty big portion of you who don't. This is a knowledge book. And yes, it is the same texture as the recipe book icon in the crafting table. Knowledge books as items were added all the way back in, uh, hold on, let me, let me hold on, 1.12, apparently, and their intended purpose was that they have NBT data, or I guess now components, that contain a list of recipes, and then when you use the knowledge book, the book will disappear from your inventory, and those recipes will be unlocked for you. I think they're supposed to be used in, like, adventure maps that have do limited crafting turned on, or something like that, but the point is that nobody actually uses them for what they were intended for. Now, if you're a data pack developer, you may be very well familiar with these things as, you know, just the dummy item that are the result of custom crafting recipes. If you want to craft an item that has custom NBT on it, well, you can't do that. So instead, you specify whatever crazy recipe you want over here, and then when the player picks up the knowledge book, there's an advancement that detects when you do that, it deletes the knowledge book from your inventory, and then it puts the custom item directly into your inventory. That's how custom crafting recipe worked. Until 1.20.5. In 1.20.5, we'll be able to put custom MBT data, or components, jeez, I'm gonna have to wrap my brain around that, onto the output of a custom crafting recipe. So, RIP knowledge books, I guess. My buddy DQRDC put it very eloquently on his YouTube community tab. But hold on. Not so fast. I've found a way for knowledge books to still be useful. The way I see it, this addition of custom NBT crafting actually frees up knowledge books for use in other things. Now you may be asking, why couldn't we use them for these other things before? Well, let me explain. When you're using your custom crafting recipe, part of the process of that is that whenever you pick up the knowledge book, it actually clears all of the knowledge books from your inventory. Now it's supposed to only clear the one that you picked up, but if you actually had a knowledge book that you were using for something else, then it will just disappear from your inventory whenever you want to craft a custom recipe, which isn't ideal. But now that custom crafting has rendered this knowledge book method pretty much obsolete, we don't have to worry about this problem anymore. And here is where my idea comes in. Now, am I going to be using knowledge books for their actual intended purpose? No, of course not. But I am going to be using that mechanic. I have some materials in my inventory. I'm going to go into my crafting table, search for spell, and I have a couple recipes here. One is the fireball spell and one is the lightning spell. And yeah, sure, go ahead and unpack all the irony that the first thing I craft with the new mechanics is a knowledge book, but this one, as you can see, did not get deleted from my inventory when I picked it up, so I'm gonna put it in my inventory. Now if I hold this book and right click, it'll summon a fireball, and then I can punch the fireball. It'll always summon it right in front of my face, and then I can just punch it away as if I'm punching a gas fireball. I'll try the same thing with the other one. So here's the lightning spell. It takes some lightning rods. If I just pick up this spell, when I right click with it, it'll always summon a lightning bolt, a few blocks in front of my face. Ah uh, yes, a creeper. I smite you. And fireball. So yeah, guys, uh, this is right-click detection. That That's what I got here. This is right-click detection. Now I know what you're thinking, but Kanye, we already have right-click detection. It's called the carrot on a stick. And to that I say yes. Yes, we do have the carrot on a stick, but unfortunately that requires a command running every tick in order to detect when you've actually used the carrot on a stick, which is a game mechanic I have been hoping for a workaround for for now many, many years. These knowledge books do not require any ticks, they just simply detect when I right-click, and because of this it's actually even more immediate than waiting- there's a train. Why is there a train? I'm just gonna wait for it to pass. Okay, anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, the clicks from these knowledge books are much more immediate than the clicks from a carrot on a stick. The carrot on a stick detects your clicks once every tick, and yeah, that's a twentieth of a second, which is not much time, but, you know, there's still up to a twentieth of a second of lag every time you click with the carrot. These books are advancement driven, which means that they are immediate with no lag chance at all. Now how do they work, you might ask? Well, let me show you. I'm in the data pack, and here is the recipe for the fireball spell. Like I said before, knowledge books can have a list of recipes that when you use the knowledge book, those recipes get unlocked. Now the fireball spell is a knowledge book that causes you to unlock this recipe that's called trigger slash fireball spell. Now if I go into the data pack, I have a recipe called trigger slash fireball spell, which is kind of a nothing recipe, it's just a structure void turning into a structure void, but when you use the fireball spell, the important part is that that recipe gets unlocked for you, and the game can detect that. I also have an advancement for casting the fireball spell, and this advancement simply detects whenever you unlock that recipe. And when you do, it grants you this function, which removes the recipe, removes the advancement, and then also summons a fireball in front of your face. And these are the only two functions in the entire data pack. Like I 
said, no ticking functions. So this is an improvement on the carrot on a stick model. However, there is one drawback. You notice I've been doing this in creative mode the entire time. Let me go to survival mode. And now when I cast the fireball spell, oh, I can cast the fireball spell. And the book disappeared. So the best use case for these is if you want to have them be consumable. Maybe something like magic scrolls that can only be used once would be a great use case for these. And again, I'll try it with a lightning spell. I can summon the lightning bolt, but yeah, the book is no longer in my inventory. So that's really the only drawback. I think at least for the time being, if we want to have a right-click detectable item that doesn't get consumed, we are going to have to stick with carrot on a stick, which is sad, but it's what we got. But if you're after the specific use case where you click with an item and it's supposed to disappear from in your inventory, then this is perfect. I've gone ahead and left this tutorial data pack down in the description below. Uh, this was a pretty short video. It, I just really wanted to show off this proof of concept, and I hope that at least one of you is able to make good use of it once 1.20.5 comes out, which is hopefully very soon. I don't know, we're on like the 17th pre-release right now, so uh, I've got my hopes up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Kanye. I hope you all have fun. Goodbye.